Hi Capricorn, welcome to my channel. I'm your host, Tina. So today I'm doing your upcoming weekly tarot reading. This will be for roughly November 23rd to the 29th. Now, if you happen to come before the 23rd, after the 29th, really the important thing is that these readings resonate. And if they do, trust that it is for you. All right, Capricorn. So the way I like to do these is I'm going to give your cards a few shuffles here. Get down a first layer of cards just to get an idea of the general and dominant energies that are happening for you this week. And then we'll go in together, dive a little bit deeper, pull a few more cards, and clarify each of those energies. All right, this is for my Capricorns, November 23rd to the 29th. Happy Thanksgiving for anybody out there who does celebrate. All right, three more shuffles, and let's see what's happening for you this week. All right, we're going to stop here. Whew, the bottom, we got the tower. Let's see. The situation challenging you. Where's your mind at? What are you focused on? Your approach, your environment, and then the near future, what is coming towards you. All right. There's some kind of sadness here in your environment. You're definitely keeping your cards close to your chest this week, um, Capricorn. I'm not sure if something happened with that tower for some of you, but the situation is the Three of Cups. This is a card about celebrations. Being around the people you love, the people you enjoy, this is your soul tribe. It can be a reunion here. It can definitely be a reunion here. If it's not a reunion, it is certainly a celebration. We'll go in and clarify. You're challenged here by the Eight of Wands. I don't know if it's taking action. I don't know if this is a moment where you should be striking while the iron is hot. I don't know if there's just a lot of messages coming through. We'll go in and clarify. Your mind, what are you focused on right now? I think you're focused on your foundations. You're keeping your cards close to your chest. You're keeping your thoughts to yourself, your heart to yourself right now. There's a level of protection here. Guarded and a little bit protecting yourself here. Your approach is beautiful. We have the two of cups. This is heart to heart. This is meeting somebody halfway. There is a truce. This is a truce if there was a fight here. If there was a fight, there's, this is a truce because something certainly didn't turn out the way you'd hoped. There is some kind of disappointment here. In your environment, we have the Five of Cups, like a true sadness, a real sadness here. Um, definitely feels like it's related to our relationships, Capricorn, because of all of this cup energy. Um, coming towards you is the Page of Pentacles. This is starting to see potential in a new direction. This is being open to learning something, to discovering something. This is kind of stepping into like a student role. And when I say student, it's just because you're on the beginning stages of some new path here. But let's see, let's go ahead and clarify the situation this week with that Three of Cups. Is it a reunion? Is it a celebration? What's this Three of Cups about for Capricorn this week? Certainly your tribe and your people. There's definitely other people. Let's take it. <sighs> Ten of Cups, Page of Pentacles. Yeah, this is happy home, happy life. Um, some of you really, with a get-together, it can be with family and loved ones here, I think you're going to start seeing some potential here because we have two Page of Pentacles here. So I feel like there's a new reality here for you, Capricorn, and you're just at the beginning stages of it. Uh, maybe the celebration is part of that for some of you, definitely, but we got happy home, happy relationships here. This is the situation this week. This is your tribe. This is your people. These are the relationships you have with other people, and I feel like you're starting to get on a new path here with these relationships. It's just the beginning. That's why there's so much to see, so much to learn. That's where that student energy was coming in. It's feeling really good. It's feeling really good. Um, wow, it's just, this is all about your relationships and the health of them. All right, let's see what this Eight of Wands is about in the challenge position. But yeah, this is happy home, happy family. This is your support system, your tribe. But this is also you starting to step in. There's so many people. There's so many people, Capricorn. All right, tell us about this Eight of Wands. I just feel like you're surrounded by a lot of people this week. It is Thanksgiving, so let's see. I mean, but it's also social distancing. Um, so let's see. Tell us about this Eight of Wands in the challenge position. Ugh, the Wheel of Fortune wanted to come out. Let's see. Tell us about the Eight of Wands for Capricorn. All right, two more. All right, clarifying this Eight of Wands. Yeah, we got the Ten of Wands at the bottom. Ten of Swords, Page of Swords. Okay. The Ten of Wands is at the bottom. Yeah, I think there's... 
I feel like you're going to learn something this week. We have a few pages. You're really going to discover some information this week, honestly. And maybe that's where that sadness is coming in. But I think you're, you're just having to cut to the heart of how things ended, why they ended here. Because um, you got the everything is fine card. And you might be saying that to yourself and not feeling it, if that makes sense. But there's something to be learned about some kind of painful ending. Maybe you discover there was a betrayal here. Maybe something happened behind your back here and you learn that and it just is challenging for you once you do discover that. But yeah, I feel like you're, you're going to learn something here when it came to some ending. And it's going to, it's going to, you know, show up as a challenge for you when you learn this. It's just, it's not going to be something basically that you're happy to discover, happy to hear, but it, it, it will help you, of course, because the truth always helps. And you know, the truth I always say is a double-edged sword, you know, on one side, it hurts, but on the other side, it sets you free. The pain passes, the freedom stays. So that's what I love about the truth, even when it hurts, because um, the pain does pass. But I feel like you're, you're going to learn something here about some painful ending. It could have been a betrayal. It could have been some kind of backstabbing. But something with the way things ended here, you're going to learn something, and I don't think you like it. And maybe that's what puts you in this like protected, guarded place. But let's see, where's your mind at? Tell us more about this Four of Pentacles for Capricorn. Certainly around your relationships. There's no doubt about it this week. Um, I mean, again, it's the holidays, so I feel like a lot of our energies go there. Tell us about Capricorn. What's this Four of Pentacles? Where are my Capricorns? Where's our mind at? What are they focused on? Oh my God, okay, the Tower and the Nine of Pentacles. Whoo! Okay. There's definitely something about you going your own direction, you going solo, you going single, of a group dynamic, of a family dynamic, of some kind of relationship here. Either you're totally changed your mind about it or you're totally confirmed your mind about it. Um, yeah, I think you're going to learn something and you're just going to be like, oh my God, I can't believe I didn't see that. I can't believe I thought that. I can't believe, I don't know, there's, there's like an I can't believe kind of element here. And I really feel like it's causing you to keep to yourself. It's keeping you guarded. It might just putting walls up in a way this week right now, protecting yourself, I think. Protecting, yeah, you're protecting yourself this week. You just, you feel like there's a need to protect yourself and I feel like there may have been some betrayal here and that's why you're in this protective state. But yeah, you're, you're gonna discover something and I just feel like it's that tower. It's just like, oh my God, how did I not see that? How could I not, how could I build on that? How did I believe that? It's like that kind of energy. But it's definitely, you're feeling like you need to protect yourself this week, Capricorn. Um, like you need to self-preserve. I don't know, it's really interesting. It's got you like feeling like you're alone, thinking maybe that you're alone. Really interesting, but your approach is so beautiful. It's so heart to heart. This is a truce. This is like, okay, let me meet you halfway. <sighs> beautiful, tell me about the Two of Cups. Tell me about this Two of Cups in your approach, Capricorn. Yeah, I don't know, like, what's this Two of, oh my God, I'll take you. <laughs> Five of Swords, I'm not taking all of you. Four of Swords is at the bottom. Man, Three of Cups, Queen of Cups, and the Moon. Damn, I just feel like these were right. You're totally just conflicted about this partnership, this relationship. And right now you're just trying to, your emotions are high with the moon. You, you, you don't know, should I come back together? Should I not? There's something about this reunion, about this group here, this partnership here that's got you so conflicted because you learned something here and I don't think you liked it. And it's bringing out all these fears, all these insecurities, but you're really managing your emotions here with that queen of cups energy. But you're conflicted, you're conflicted about this goddamn partnership. Let's pull one more. Let's just see. We have the Five of Swords and the Two of Cups. Let's see what wants to come out. With those, I felt like, yeah, just, okay. <laughs> it falls out. We must take it, like, right on there. Yeah, you're conflicted. What do we have? We have the Two of Cups, the Two of Pentacles, and the Five of Swords. What I love is that you know things are changing here, Capricorn, with that Two of Pentacles, and you're doing an amazing job at flowing with the changes. You're still conflicted. I'm not saying you're not conflicted, but it's like you're not being hard on yourself for being conflicted, nor should you be. Um, you know, it's a, it's, a, it's a tough choice. 
it's tough but I feel like you fought with somebody that you loved very deeply and it's got you it's got you asking I don't know if I can stay should I go it's just it's got you back and forth right now you're a little back and forth this week when it comes to this partnership it's just conflicted it's just really conflicting there's a fight here and you're learning something that I really feel like you don't like whatever you learn is going to change things it's going to change you the tower always does all right, in the environment, we have the Five of Cups here. So let's see what this Five of Cups, of course, it's a sadness, a regret. <sighs> it's in your environment. I'm not taking it, but death is there. Tell us about the Five of Cups in the environment. Yeah, something was lost here in some relationship. But what I love about the Five of Cups, it's always there to let us know while three have spilt over. It's not every relationship. It's not every situationship. But there are still two cups so it's there to kind of indicate that like with certain situations all hope is not lost there's still two really good cups here so tell us about the five of cups in the environment but yeah this is just a major major disappointment emotional serious letdown all right three more clarifying this five of cups for my capricorns i'll take it oh my god no at the bottom Five of Cups. Okay. We have the Knight of Swords. We can have an air sign here. We have the Seven of Pentacles. It could be an air sign. Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. Let me mention that. Um, that this really just turned out, turned sour with. But there's a situation here in your environment that's got you charged up. That you feel like you need... There's a conversation that we certainly need to have here. Let me say that. Um, something was not right. I feel like something was really unjust. Maybe not even fair. But certainly not right. Even morally. Um, and and you got to say something about it. You're feeling like that. And you're at a place now where you're just reevaluating it. That's, that's why you are so conflicted. Because you're like, damn. This really should have been at a much happier place. Yet we're not there. We are not there. Now you're starting to see, you know, initially, now that we lay the cards out, the situation is like, you know, you got the Ten of Cups, the Three of Cups, and the Page of Pentacles. I think you're starting to move away from some people here. And it's hurting. It's heavy and it's hurting. You're reevaluating it because you're like, I've poured so much. You were not looking for quick results when it came to this relationship. No, Capricorn. You weren't cutting corners. You This is, this is something that you gave all your attention, all your heart and soul to. And still, for some reason, there's a major letdown with the way things played out or the way things turned out here. And you're just at this place where I'm like, I don't know if I should keep investing here. Do I stay? Do I go? You're conflicted. But I think you're also starting to see the potential of a new direction here. The tower came down and came down with the single ladies Beyonce card. Going independent. Wow. All right, coming towards you again. As you looking in this new direction, seeing its potential. Kind of not being so sad to go in it. Kind of a little excited to. Knowing that there might be work. There's a lot to do. But still being like there's a lot of promise here. Um, starting to see a new reality for yourself. Let's take it. The lovers is here. Seven of swords is here. Seven of cups is here. Yeah. You're going to follow your heart. I think there's a situation at this point. What's coming towards you Capricorn? Um, I think during this week. You're still at this like back and forth place, still deciding, still figuring it out. By the end of this week, really, I think you figure it out. I think you know, you got to follow your heart here. You already know which path you should be taking with the lovers. Um, maybe it's a Gemini, but you already know which path you should be taking here with the lovers. And you're excited about it. You're ready to take the first steps. You're ready to learn. And you're ready to get out of the goddamn situation you are in. With that seven of swords you're ready to be like this is not serving my highest good i gotta get out of here asap i need a strategy i need to keep this moving even if i have to cut my losses at this point with that seven of swords i'll cut my losses but yeah a bit of a challenging week certainly because there's a really important partnership here that you're conflicted about staying or going you're learning something major that just changes things and i think that's what's going to put you on this path of like by the end of the week being like all right it's time I follow my heart. It's time I do what I know I should be doing. The hard choice. And making a strategy to get things rolling and moving the way I want. All right, Capricorn. 
The choice does come to you, so I will leave it there for you. I hope you enjoyed this reading. If you did, please like and subscribe. As always, thank you so much for letting me tune into your energies. I'll see you all next week.